Hey, Paper Collective. What's up, y'all? Welcome to the channel. Welcome back. If you have been here before, thank you so much for joining me or joining me again. Let's go ahead and get into this reading, y'all. So what's coming next for you in the near future? Two cards. What's next for Libra? Near future. We have the Three of Pentacles and we have the Emperor. Ooh. Ooh. I'm seeing a major promotion. Aries and Capricorn energy is here. This could be something three years in the making. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Wands. You have good news coming in. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. It says, inspired, enthusiastic, good news. Need to express creativity, new ideas, possibilities, running free and no restrictions. Some of you also could be liberating yourselves here with the Emperor. Standing in your power. There could be a major collaboration coming in that has a lot to do with um, how you make your money. The emperor usually represents working in a male-dominated industry. Think construction, um, things like that, right? Military work. You're a decision maker. You could be making a major decision about a collaboration. I feel like you're getting good news. And it feels like something you've been working for. We got the queen of wands. You got the nine of pentacles. Some of you could be influencers here. And then we got the page of cups in reverse. Why is that in reverse? So this is an independent card and this is a collaboration card. I feel like for some of you, this queen of wands, there could be an Aries in your energy. I know that's your sister sign, but I feel like this could be, I mean, for some of you, you could be getting in a relationship with someone who could be an Aries. Um, some of you could be on the Virgo Libra because this is overnight success. There's some kind of passive income you're creating for yourself with a collaboration, but I feel there's someone very influential who's coming in to help you, to support you. That's going to be collaborating with you. Spirit is wanting you to be cooperative and let this person help you. What's the page of cups in reverse? What's the page of cups in reverse? Five of swords. Okay, so I want to tell you to make sure you don't cut off your nose to spite your face. What I'm getting here is a little bit of, um, I want to do something by myself. That's what I'm getting. I'm getting, some of you are so independent, right? independent independent i'm getting you're so independent but there's something here where you may be lacking guidance yeah your spirit guides are showing up here and the two of swords did try to come out before see you have a guide or something working with you somebody's going to be reaching out to you they could be at a distance i feel you're going to be traveling or moving or something with the world being here or this could be something you're doing remotely it doesn't have to be that you have to travel but there's i mean you see there's water here on both of these cards Hmm. Wow, there's water here as well. King of Cups. See, this can be like refusing to see something, turning a blind eye to something. It's like your spirit guides are trying to help you, trying to help you navigate a situation. And I feel like, I mean, Libra, this is your energy. Somebody can have a Libra moon placement, but this is Libra energy. And it's like you're being a little bit defiant, I'm hearing. And I feel like there's something about you wanting to do something by yourself. Like, this is uh, specifically for those of you who may be trying to figure out something professionally and maybe you're like hitting a brick wall and you're like, why is it not working? Knight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Judgment. Yeah, there's somebody coming to help you. Somebody is coming to invest in you or help you, but you have to be teachable. This is about being teachable. How teachable are you? It's a learning curve. The Empress, the Six of Wands, because you have success here and the King of Cups shows up again. There's a guy working with you that really wants you to listen. <laughs> Libra, I don't think y'all are hard-headed. Are y'all hard-headed? Y'all might be. I don't know. I don't think I've ever heard that. But y'all might be. I mean, individual people can be no matter what their signs are. So I feel like um, there's a lot of spiritual guidance around you. But for some of you, there's something that you're working on. And maybe you're not seeing the success that you want to see from it and the time frame that you think. And the reason why that is, it's like you have a blockage here. I understand the page of cups in reverse can be a little bit messy. Okay. He can be somebody who's acting immaturely. He can be somebody who's too image conscious. And with the five of swords being here with it, it definitely gives temper tantrum. It gives um, 
emotional instability just a little bit. It's like a very immature energy. It's a very petty, argumentative, I know, I know, I know kind of energy. Don't tell me anything I already know. But this is when you're self-sabotaging. So understand, you know, for some of you, this could be a child. It doesn't have to be you. Just take it however it resonates. I don't know. But I feel like Spirit is trying to send a blessing your way. And your guys are like really like on you. They all around you. Like, come on now. Let's go. And there's somebody here. Feels like an Aries. Could be a Capricorn as well. Somebody here is coming in to help you. Yeah, help is being sent to, to you. Don't resist it. That's your message. Don't resist it. We have fuel. I enjoy doing things that fuel me. It feels great to do things for myself. When I make sure I'm taken care of, I can better show up for those in my life and for the work that I do. But notice this, that I can do uh, good things for myself. I do great. I'm sorry. It feels great to do things for myself. That's what I'm saying. That That's not a bad thing, but I do feel like you there's some help coming in. Spirit, show me why I'm feeling that. Like, why do I feel like it has something to do with Libra not accepting this help? Just accept help, y'all. Because there's an older person coming in. We have conscious focus. What I focus on, I attract more of. Starting today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend my time speaking or thinking of. I will do more of the things that bring me joy and see as more of these things begin to effortlessly flow into my life. Conscious focus. Paying attention. There's somebody coming in to help you. Wow, this is crazy. So this card says, inspired enthusiasm. Uh, I'm sorry, enthusiastic, good news, need to express creativity, new ideas and possibilities, and running free, no restrictions. However, this, this well, um, I'm sorry, this page is not moving. You see, he's standing still, right? And he's holding his wand to steady himself, to pace himself, because he can't just let all the fire that's in him go, or he will scorch the earth around him. This says new adventures. He's definitely an adventurer. He's definitely somebody who is operating in blind faith and um, can also represent a pilgrimage. Okay, so this says today I open myself up to new adventures. I go out and do something I've been holding back from. I move through the fear rather than let it control me. I trust my intuition and follow my desires. Somebody is guiding you. Now, this doesn't have to be a physical person, but you have a guide working with you. And this guide is trying to help you to move to a better situation. It feels like professionally. Um, I feel like for some of you, even with this, this kind of influencer energy here, if you're afraid to like put yourself out there online or something, you're being told to do it, to give it a try. Because you don't know unless you try. And it, that could just be your message from your spirit, guys. Maybe it's not a physical person, but it feels like it is for some of you. I feel like if they can't get through to you, they're going to send a physical person here. But they want you to be teachable and they want you to listen to the guidance, to, to you know, clear guidance. Guidance that's coming from a good place. Don't just listen to any and everybody, y'all. All right, Libra. That's what I see. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.